Hello everyone and welcome. Today I have replaced the front speakers on my Mark II Focus. Just the bottom speakers, the ones on the uh, bottom of the door, not the tweeters. The reason I've done it was because the driver's side just simply wouldn't work unless the temperature outside was above 16 degrees and the car had been under the sun. For some reason it would start working under those conditions. Second, like everyone else, they want to upgrade their sound system and uh, improving the sound quality using better speakers. Um, the, this procedure that I've done is a little bit uh, heavy-handed because the current uh, Focus Mark II speakers, they are molded into a cone shape base and then they are riveted onto the door itself. So the only reason you just uh, break all the rivets and take the whole unit out and then buy some adapters and then you put your aftermarket speaker. But I'm not going to spend our money on adapters when I can just simply just cut and extract the old speaker out whilst keeping the, the round bezel and then insert my aftermarket unit on it. These two speakers, uh, they are the 16 centimeter ones that fit uh, in uh, the front and also at the back of the door cars of the Mark II Focus and I bought them on a uh, Facebook marketplace for just under 20 pounds. They were actually brand new, never used it, so I thought it would be a good bargain. Now, let's uh, have a look at what I've done in order to improve the sound, sound quality on my car. Now that I've done the passenger side, it's time to do the driver's side and I'm going to use a plastic trim removal tool to remove the surround of the door handle, the bottom of the armrest, and then I use a number eight socket to remove both screws that fix the door cart to the door itself. Then with the same plastic removal tool, I prise open the um, uh, the door car itself from the thick from lo the locking pins pull it and oops i forgot to unclip the cables that connect the electric windows and the door mirrors now it's time to pull everything out and if there are any uh, fixing pins uh, left behind just uh, take them off and fix them back to the door card so here it is, the Focus Mark II front speaker, similar at the back, and it has this integrated bezel and it's riveted to the door. You just unclip the cable and remove the, this foam ring, which you can add to the door card at a later stage. Here it is, the bezel and the rivets, which can be uh, drilled out and installed with uh, an adapter if you wish. I'll be starting to remove the speaker by using a Stanley knife. I'll just cut the cone all the way around it. it doesn't need to be very neat. Just take uh, everything out and then uh, just pull all the cables, all the bits of foam that are still stuck to the bezel. Then using a pair of cutting pliers, you just break the, the in internals of the speaker break all of them off. Now that all the internals are broken, just chuck everything in the bin and then you can tidy up the inside of the bezel. Um, just make sure that there are no sharp ends. You can use a, a pair of pliers or even a Stanley knife or even a um, file in order to um, smooth everything cut the cable connector because it's not compatible with the new speaker, take the installation of the cables and then drill uh, a couple of holes on the bezel so that you can fit the new audio cables through. Then you match the wires, the one with the black strip goes on to the grey wire and the other one goes to the white wire. I solder all of them together. Soldering is not one of my best skills. I cut uh, the ends 
and then I just use some insulation tape. You can also use a shrink wrap, but I didn't have any with me at the time. The bezel also still needs to accommodate the new speaker, so I have to break off this lip by cutting the edge with a pair of pliers and then breaking each tab with a, a pair of pliers so that it leaves a more flat a surface. Again, you can use a bit of sanding paper or file to make the surface a bit smoother, but I was happy as it is, so I'm now ready to start to mount the new speaker. So these are the JPCs that I bought, a 600 watt unit, and I'm going to offer up against the new support and mark the holes with a marker pen so that I can uh, drill them out and then uh, fix the speaker to the support. speaker already came with new cables, so just put the minus on the minus and the plus on the plus. There's really no rocket sense with that. You offer them up onto the support and then screw them in place. Uh, the, sp uh, the speakers came already with uh, its mounting screws and also with the metallic tabs if you want to um, uh, fix the speakers on a different kind of support. Before you screw them in place, it's always good to test them to make sure that they work. And here they are. This is the finished product, all working nicely. Of course, I can't play any music due to copyright reasons. Now that everything is working, time to put the door card back in. Make sure you feed through the cables for the electric windows and door mirrors. Make sure it also lines up with the tweeter casing. Mine is a bit dodgy because it has a couple of broken tabs, so it's a bit more fiddly. Make sure that the locking pins of the door car match with the holes on the door. Don't forget the black foam, give them a good bang, and all should click in place. Plug all the cabling from the electric windows and door mirrors. Put the screws back in that fix uh, the door card to the door itself. Put the armrest trim back on and also the surround trim of the door handle. And that's it. That's the door ready for you. BBC News at 7.30. This is Tina Dahili. Prince Harry will make history later when he gives evidence at the height. For the rear speakers, you can do exactly the same procedure. However, not all cars come with rear speakers. Mine does come with a... Uh, them fitted so uh, but I'll just leave the upgrade for another time when there's a little bit of money because all the money has gone to the BMW E12 project. There is uh, two alternatives. First you go by the procedure that I've done and also many uh, other Focus Mark II owners did and the uh, if you don't have any speakers at all you can buy the door cards and uh, the, the mountings from the titanium versions who come with a bottom speaker and also the integrated uh, tweeters on the door cars. It's all plug and play because the cable is already there. The only thing that you have to uh, uh, take into account is that the titanium cars do have rear electric windows and that doesn't happen on uh, all models from the ZTEC below, LX, Studio and, and so on. So you have to take that into account, but you just have to drill a hole on the door card itself in order to make way for the window crank. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on next Mark II Focus video.